Hello students and welcome to another wonderful day to learn something new in social studies with me, Mrs. Monker. Today, our topic is the Crown Colony Government. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to define and explain the role of the Crown Colony Government. Identify the first royal governor of the Bahamas. Examine the problems Woods Rogers encountered upon his arrival to the Bahamas and list ways in which they were solved. Hope you're ready. Let's get started. But first, you will need The Making of the Bahamas by Dawn Maples, a highlighter, a pen, and a notebook. Feel free to pause this video if you wish to write notes. What is a Crown Colony government? A Crown Colony was a type of colonial administration of the British Empire. It was a system of government where a governor appointed by the king ruled the colony along with an elected consul. The colonies now came directly under the king, King George I. He appointed a governor who had a consul of advisors and could set up an assembly, an elected consul. This was a unique feature of English colonial government at that time. The roles of this new government system were to secure the interests of the inhabitants, to invest in and develop the islands, to protect the natives from pirate, Spanish, and French invaders. Woods Rogers was the first royal governor of the Bahamas. He was a former privateer and a skillful sailor. The British crown thought he would be a firm leader and capable of combating the pirate problems in the Bahamas because of his military and naval experiences. Woods Rogers arrived to the Bahamas on a ship called the Delicia, along with four warships and over 100 soldiers and settlers on July 26, 1718. He set foot on New Providence near the present day Hilton Hotel, downtown Nassau. His first order of business was to grant pardon to all pirates who submitted to his rule. It wasn't quite easy for Rogers at first because Nassau and New Providence was in a very bad state when he arrived. The fort was without men and guns. The plantations were not producing sufficient crops. The roads were overgrown. Many settlers were sick with serious health problems. And of course, pirates were everywhere. That's why the Bahamas was also known as a pirate's haven. Rogers found a way to combat all these problems. He proclaimed expulsus, paratus, restituta, commercia. I wonder what all of this means. In fact, I wonder how we did it. Well, stick with me and we'll find out. It's activity time. This is a perfect time to hit the pause button as we have some R&R. &R. No, not rest and relaxation. Rather, research and read. There's so much more to learn about the story of Woods Rogers and the Crown Colony Government. 
I hope you can join me next time. Remember to study smart and not hard. See you soon.